Today we are doing another enrichment in the rescue zoo and today's animal likes to put perfume on, in a sense. Let's get started. Hi guys, it's Nico here from the rescue zoo and today we are doing another enrichment. This week's enrichment is with a very special boy and I want to just emphasize first that because we are rescue zoo, people or animals, <laughs> mostly animals, uh, might look a bit different because it is animals that has been through a lot. It can be private people obtaining illegal exotic animals, fur farms, medical industry, but that means that you might be missing a piece of fur or you might be missing or having a stiff finger or whatever it might be that might be different from you, we still believe they deserve a good and happy life. And today's animal is a bit of an older guy, so I just want to emphasize that it's not because he's been treated bad here where he's living now, it is his past and what he's been through. And we need to make sure that he's happy and healthy mentally and physically, and that's why we're doing enrichment. So today we're going to the quarries and we have a what are we doing? We have something with a bag, something with something very smelly and uh, somebody might remember this from, uh, from our live stream. There's some special thing that the Coatis like to do when they s have a very strong scent around them. So that's very interesting. Let's go, see what, let's go see what he does. And maybe Alex has a word about why this occurrence happening with the Coatis. Hi, Nigel. Hi. Right. So today we are doing enrichment with a koati. Yeah. What have you prepared? Well, what we've prepared is we actually have got two different cloths and two paper bags and two different scents because we're kind of curious to as to what scent he prefers because koatis are well known for loving anything stinky. Then they'll just rub it all over themselves. It's like the best thing ever. They love it. Um, but we're not actually sure which one he prefers because if we give him one, obviously he'll use that. If we give him the other, he'll use that. So it's kind of a science project we're doing today at the same time as doing enrichment to figure out which scent does a koati prefer. What scents? Well, the scents we have here, it is a peppermint scent and it is a almond scent. So you got two different natural smells and we'll see which one he prefers. I can't even get the paper bag up. It smells wonderful. This is, this is a fresh smell. Fresh, fresh smell. And then, just so it can all just get lock that in and put it to one side and as well that's why we chose two different colored cloths as well because then we'll know exactly all I can smell is peppermint <laughs> and then this is basically just to try and trap the scent in a bit more so the cloths smell a bit more of it Cool. We are ready. Let's We're go ready. down and give them to him. Has he got a little camera? Has he? Right, we are now down the enclosure and the is just left. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he'll come back. He's just thinking, why is there two of you? Right, so uh, yeah. Let's give him uh, his new Right, so I'm going to put them down in the bags just because then that just gets a little bit more fun out of it. So I've got the peppermint, peppermint in this one, the almond in this one, and then I'm going to put them down once it catches my eye. And let's see. So the almond one is the one closest to you guys, and the peppermint one's there. You spotted it, so I'll just move away and see which one he goes for.
this and rub it all and just like uh, kind of feel. Mm -hmm. Why is the behavior they do that, Alex? Well, because Kawadis are very, very known for their nasal cav the cavities. They, they, s the simple, because of it being so elongated, when they get the smells in there, they've taken every single scent. So with a kawaii, anything that smells of anything, they want to rub all over their body, all over their tail. Now he is slightly older, so he always starts off by just washing his hands in it. But kawadis is what they're so well known for. It is, if they find something stinky, they want to rub it all over themselves. And it's purely because of that long, long nasal passage he's got. The thing is, if we come in tomorrow, that cloth is going to be black because he will have rubbed himself so much with it. <laughs> Your cloth ain't as, as, as interesting as my piece of peach. With that said, thank you for today. <laughs> Bye.